commercial areas, but some residents say more time is needed to thoroughly review the plan. This is a serious, uh, a serious document that controls, regulates land use for the next 30 years. And we just have not received the quality of consultation that you would expect. I support the plan fully. I think it addresses many of the community's priorities around housing, so our emphasis on market and social housing. Um, it also helps to make sure that our business commercial areas are protected as well. The city maintains uh, the character of the West End will remain intact while more density is added to it. Jody? All right, thanks very much. Greg Harper reporting live for us this morning from the West End. No charges are expected to be laid after a highly unusual incident at Kitts Beach left one dog dead and another injured. A 72-year-old man was walking his pug yesterday afternoon. A pit bull was also being walked by a woman when it pounced on the smaller dog, locking its jaws around the pug's neck. Both the man and woman tried to get the pit bull to let go, but they couldn't. So the man used a foldable pocket knife to stab the pit bull. The VPD says it's not considering charges. However, staff at the SPCA says its file is very much open. The organization has the pit bull's body and will perform a necropsy. The pit bull died while the pug survived after getting stitches. The first big coal snap of the season is here, and local shelters are doing their best to adjust. Extra room has been created at drop-in shelters around the region with the declaration of an extreme weather alert. A number of emergency shelters are located at churches, while existing locations are expanded. That includes the Union Gospel Mission on the downtown east side, which normally houses 75 people overnight. It is now cramming in an extra 20 people. It's only blankets on the floor, pillows, and it's all we have, yeah. We provide a warm and safe place. The Union Gospel Mission is asking for public donations. In particular, it needs socks, toques, blankets, and pillows. The federal government has introduced a bill to crack down on cyberbullying. It would make disturbing, intimate, uh, distributing, that is, intimate images without consent punishable by up to five years in jail. The bill was introduced by Ottawa, in Ottawa by Justice Minister Peter McKay. If it becomes law, it would also expand police phone and computer tapping powers and would streamline the process of gaining a warrant to intercept private conversations. The legislation comes in the wake of three teens who committed suicide after being bullied online, including BC's Amanda Todd. An oversized cargo plane landed at the wrong airport last night and may not be able to leave. The Dreamlifter is a modified 747-400 passenger plane. It's so big it actually carries parts for other aircraft. It was scheduled to arrive at U.S. Air Force Base. Instead, it landed at the much smaller airport nearly 20 kilometers away. No one's sure how the glitch happened, but there's an even bigger problem. The runway at this smaller airport is too short for the giant plane to take off while loaded. Crews are now doing some troubleshooting. It's 6.35, time to get you up to speed on the world of sports. And for that, we head to the Connected Studios. Here's Don Taylor.